going to read this letter. It's an example of anonymous behavior. Okay, you guys. And this person was so insistent on keeping their identity a secret. Okay. All I did was go to go to the file and pull out a, an example. And there are plenty of examples to pull out. If you don't mind, let's start at the very top at what the uh, letter says. From a concerned anonymous individual and apology. So you would think by reading it that there's an apology there. Now, Gary, is Mitch as anonymous as he thinks he is? He's not near as anonymous as he thinks he is. We've uh, identified his Facebook page, his Google page, his Twitter account. All of them lead back to real names. Uh, I believe that Mitch lives in Utah. No, I'll, I respect his privacy and we won't say where. I really don't care. But the bottom line is people think that they're anonymous. It didn't take too much for me to download pictures from his page of him. Doesn't he say he's a student? He says he's a college student and it appears from his pictures that he indeed could be. Yeah. yeah. You know, have picture, that's not it? a that's not a problem. This um, Mitch. Anonymous Mitch. Mitch? Not so anonymous. You guys think you're anonymous? You don't know anything. He doesn't really want to be anonymous. He just wants to slam the hammer and run. He wants to slam the hammer and run. It's a hit and run. Um, this is a warning to all of you anonymous people who have done things that are illegal. Okay, and by the way, uh, according to Facebook, um, what this guy did was illegal. According to their rules, he was taken down. Um, some of you have done things that are illegal, um, period, slander. And uh, also, um, we've received a lot of threats, and we've had people try to carry those threats out. Okay, all of you people who think that you're hiding in the darkness, please understand that this is what Jesus said. Whatever you said in the dark corners will be shouted from the rooftops. He's flushing you out. Your name is going to be known. Your name is going to be associated with the things you've been doing in the darkness, just like that pastor from Prestonwood Baptist Church a few years ago. That's correct. You mean the one that uh, tried to... Oh, I can't even say it. I can't. Go ahead and tell him. It's disgusting. Just tell him. It's just kind of hard with little ears. Um, he, he was having... Uh, he, he, he arranged to have an inappropriate meeting with somebody that he thought was a 13-year-old girl. And uh, turned out to be a police officer, and I think he's currently in jail. This was a pastor at um, one of the largest Southern Baptist churches. Caused a lot of pain. This is going on all over the place, okay, you guys? And you've seen it lots of times. The pastors, it's happening more and more. What is being done in the darkness is being flushed out into the light. That's God judging his house. So understand, if you've done something illegal towards me or anybody in the body of Christ, God is flushing you out. Now, when it comes to this ministry... If you have done something to harm my children or to harm this ministry and you think you're anonymous, you are just so funny because Gary is really, really good. And I can tell you right now that those of you who are praying for something bad to happen to me as you've written to me and told me that you're praying that God takes me out or kills me or kills my children uh, to teach me a lesson and to you know stop my heresy from spreading on the earth, um, all of you people who are praying for something bad to happen to me better put it in reverse and start backpedaling real quick because the second that something bad does happen to me, it's your name that's going to be in the file that the police officers are going to be checking out first, especially those of you who have opened up entire forums dedicated to hatred of me and my family. You think you're anonymous, you are going to be flushed out into the light. And if you're one of those people <laughs> and you've just, you know, slandered us and made hate pages about us, I'd be praying that God will protect us because you're going to be the first ones on the list. And yeah, I've got your name. Mitch, I do have your last name. I think I'm going to choose. I could, I could share his last name. Yeah, I, I, think that, uh, I think that we're going to show the level of respect that he did not. Well, I think more for me is not wanting to give him free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> well. but, uh, but yes, Mitch, I, I, I don't think I will share it, but I do have it. And you are in my file. And, you know, I'm... I'm sure that you would definitely be on that list if you're going to express your hatred, you guys. And call it love. And, and call, call it love. love and do it in the name of Jesus, kind of like John Calvin did, you know, for Servetus. I mean, that is your mentor, okay? Mitch signed this. Thank you and God bless Anonymous. And that is an act of rebellion because he is saying, you know, sure it is. I, I disagree with your video that says that God's word says I need to use my real name on YouTube. Um, that's extremely immature, okay? You need to grow up. All of you guys. I'm talking to all of you guys who use anonymous. I mean, really, you try to teach the body of Christ and you're ashamed to use your own name. If you're ashamed, there is a reason. Either it's because you're in darkness or you're ashamed of Jesus. So which one is it? Probably both. 
Okay. You guys that think that you're anonymous, you better watch out because God is going to flush you out into the light. And there's a lot more out there about you than you know. (laughs) 